solving a problem where there's a need. And our country has a need for recycling. We have a duty to this environment to take waste that normally would be buried into a landfill and make it into a sustainable project. Sustainability at its finest because you take a, a product that normally would be wasted and instead we're making it into something new and fresh and with our nature's reflections colorants and our bagging process and distribution, we're able to take these products that normally would be wasted and now they're, we're redistributing them out into the country into a market that is in need of fiber. Our relationship with waste management is, not the word is right, symbiotic, but they have a need for part of our off products and uh, we have a need for their space and it, we help each other out and uh, we're looking to try to leverage that at other locations with waste management that continue to help them benefit us and benefit them. Uh, we bring to the table the ability to process the wood waste and market the marketable portions. They bring to the table location, a collection facility that's already permitted, and uh, in a lot of locations they have a use for the uh, undesirable portions of our product. So it works, uh, it's mutually beneficial to both parties and that's how business should be. It's got to be good for both hands and uh, that's the way it's been so far and we're looking to try to move that along to some other facilities. The future is now. We've recently um, merged with some folks in uh, National Storm Recovery, Florida Arbor Care, and we're extremely excited about that. It really is going to bring us to another level. We, we have to grow and um, uh, adapt to an ever-changing industry, and we're really excited about the future. That's where we are now. One good thing about this company since I've been here, we used to just manufacture cypress. We are manufacturing cypress and pine and hardwood, colored mulches to the fact that we make our own colorant. We become so diversified. We have the machines process and make our colorant and we come out with new products every year. So it's a growing business, it really is. We started the business in 1985. We was in a little trailer right across the driveway here and then we designed this building and we uh, actually built it in the late 80s. We moved into it in 1990. It was located on the rail, that was critical, but it had good access to the interstates and the center of population of Ohio. And our, our, our business plan in the, in the 80s was to have one product in the state of Ohio, that was it. We, we cypress mulch in Ohio, and it grew from there. We have something that's primed and it's ready, and it's really about timing, and right now we're in the right time. We're at the right place at the right time with the right people. And with what we're doing right now in sustainability, we believe that this model is something that's scalable and it's able to build national partnerships. It's a turnkey operation. Again, our, our major advantage is that we can, we can build these mulch uh, production facilities ourselves, our own in-house engineering people. Uh, we know how to produce the equipment, we know how to build the equipment, assembly, conveyors, stacking conveyors, uh, debarkers, uh, sawmill parts, hammer mills that need to be uh, put in place to process bark. Uh, these are things that we are currently build ourselves now. And that's our advantage going forward as we look at other opportunities, how we can use our in-house engineering in our 30, 40 years of experience building this equipment, as we look at acquisitions, that's where we're gonna to look to say how we can pick up efficiencies and how we're gonna make that maybe a more profitable business with our help and our direction.